What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Garage. Thanks for tuning in and it is garage talk time. So today we're just gonna do another quick garage update. We got a bunch of cool shit getting planned here over the next couple of weeks. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we are gonna be getting out with the bikes. We're gonna be getting out with the Camaro. We've got a handful of people we're gonna meet up with with cool cars trucks, so forth and so on. So that is coming really quick. Um, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. Um, if you look here, this is the new, where I put the E-Track system up above here. Cars are still up top. Um, I did install this eight foot LED light. That thing is freaking awesome and it's wired in to my overheads. Um, I'll probably do a full talk about, I don't know. Anyways, here's the the big table, the eight foot table. Um, obviously I rearranged quite a bit of stuff here. Um, let's go down here. The fridge is now down here. I did put all of my charging stuff. I'm starting to move it over here. Got my, uh, these things are wicked. I'll see if I can find a link for it because if you're running stuff or working in your garage a lot or maybe even in your office or whatever, I'd highly suggest, won't, highly suggest it. I'll see if I can find it. And the reason is if you look at this guy, it's got USB ports, lightning port, and it's all 3.0, so it charges your phone or whatever you've got hooked to it pretty dang quick. Anyways, so we're working it up there. I've got my power strip running down below. So all the main power is below, and then of course I've got the top with a little four, four piece. I still do have all the stuff. I haven't sold anything yet. I haven't even tried. I've been too busy doing other things. Move the big uh, Craftsman over there, little ones over there. As you can see, I got crap on top of all of it, so nothing new there other than we're still trying to get, I'm still trying to get uh, organized here. I've done a lot of cleaning and got rid of quite a bit of stuff, but I still want to get rid of quite a few things. Obviously, the couch and everything's still sitting here. Like I said, I haven't gotten rid of any of that fun stuff. Um, over here, started cleaning up those top shelves so they're it's looking kind of bare i did add this big shelf here um and this is going to be where the gear is going to sit for shooting videos and some of my other stuff that i've got going on um a, another cool thing that actually i found at sears the other day to add to the sears the sears deal is there's this is obviously a cabinet behind it. That's where the receiver and everything is. But they had a special order door for someone that apparently either didn't want it or didn't pick it up or whatever. So I got that for a smoking price. So now it's all covered up. Um, the the hung cabinets there and there are uh, getting filled up. And then over here, we're starting to clean out all of these bins. And then obviously cleaning up the shoes still. And I've got a pile of crap right down the center, of course. Um, but the cool part is, as 
I continue going through all of this, I'm getting rid of a lot of the stuff that I no longer use. I don't know about you guys, but um, it, you know, between tools and some of the other stuff, it's not that I want to get rid of them, but I end up looking at some of my tool stuff. Let me put this camera down. I ended up looking at uh, just so many freaking tools as far as I've got 10 of this screwdriver, five of that screwdriver. It's always great to have extra screwdrivers. I'm for that, but I don't need to have 25 screwdrivers of the same kind and the same head size and so forth and so on. So I'm going to start narrowing that down. Actually, let me grab this again and I'll show you. You know, so like if you look in here, I'm starting to go through all of these tools versus all oh, the tops closed, so I can't open that one. You know, start trying to clean it all up. So when I go to look for stuff, it's a lot easier. I would, uh, I know a lot of people think it's like Jesus, your your shit's so so clean. You do this, yeah. I use the shit out of these tools, but I've learned through the years that a tool is only good if you can find the thing. You know, and that's the point of that. Um, that's also the point of kind of reorganizing and cleaning it up because this this main area, as far as usability, really wasn't there because all of those shelves were sitting over here and then the fridge was sitting over here. So the functionality of it really wasn't there to where now, you know, with moving the gear over here, um, cleaning up and getting the tools all put together, now, when I go to work on the project bike or the Camaro or my truck, um, it's a hell of a lot easier. Talking about my truck real quick, uh, winter's coming to a close and the roads are clearing up and all these boxes up here, I got some Amazon stuff in. So we're gonna see if this works or not. I'm gonna switch my tires. I'll let you guys know in the next uh, garage talk if it does. So. My 2016 um, GMC Sierra, in the winter I run a set of the 18 Chevy wheels that I had on my uh, 2000, what was it, 2015 Z71. So it's got tire sensors and all of that and they're just good wheels. Um, I actually uh, changed them for my, I had a nice set of chrome 20s. I just wanted something a little, different for winter time. Anyways, I ended up getting one of these. So I'm not sure, um, I'm not real sure if it's gonna work. I saw a couple of videos online about this, looked it up on Amazon. If it does work, I'll put a link to it down below. If not, it's going back to Amazon. But anyways, this is supposed to, you walk up, you hit the uh, tire reset in your GMC or your Chevy which is located, if you if you have the sensors and you need to redo it, it's really simple. You go to the little, uh, go to the little screen where it shows your tire sensors and it says nothing. Then you hold the checkbox button and then you're supposed to just go outside of the vehicle and put this to each, uh, each one of your tires, hold it down. And then it's supposed to communicate with it and fix it well, to activate the sensor with your car or your truck. So we're gonna see how that works. It was super cheap, it was like 18 bucks, 17 bucks. So now I don't have to go to the dealer or while I'm at the dealer getting an oil change or whatever, have them do it. So I'm super stoked about that. Anyways, so this was a quick update. Um, we've got some new installs coming in here over the next couple of weeks as well for the Camaro. Um, hopefully here we'll be getting out the V-Rod um, and doing the wash on it. And then hopefully the next video I do, it may be a short video and I think I will try to do it before I take off for, I've got to go do some stuff for a little while with work. So I won't be shooting any more videos. Um, so hopefully this will backlog, I'll get enough video shot, but, um, hopefully I'll be able to get that shot, which is the project bike. I just want to talk about it, um, explain it to you guys, tell you what I'm doing, what I've done. So. That pretty much wraps us up for Garage Talk. Uh, hopefully the next time you see the garage, uh, with the exception of the next bike, here over the next couple of weeks, all this stuff will be getting out of here. Um, and 
then I'm not sure what else we're gonna do. I do and am gonna take donations for anybody that wants to help me get some flooring done for this floor. Because I do need, or if you know somebody that has some flooring, because I would like to do the flooring in the garage. So if you know somebody, let me know. That pretty much wraps us up, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another Garage Talk here on the Wrenched Out Garage. I'm Anthony. We'll see you guys in the next video.